Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. Today we wrap up our study looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another, so that there may be no divisions among you, and that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought. This week we're looking at how Jesus came into this world, and in that, bringing division. Those who have faith in him and those who don't. And here we are reminded that, yes, as we are brought together in faith and we are united to one another, there's enough division out there and we want to share that gospel so more and more people, well, are united to their God. But yes, here we are reminded that God has brought us together. You know, many different walks of life, many different life experiences, many different ages and many different peoples and come from all all throughout the country and yet God has guided us together to make us a a church family here at Grace and in Crivets and we are reminded that in that we are to be united to one another. As we are divided, there is division but to be united to each other because God has brought us together as a church family. And here God says to be perfectly united in mind and thought. And, you know, is that is that possible? Well, yes and no, right? I'll give you a, a practical example. Yeah, we have our call meetings, right? And there are differences in what uh, people see and how people um, view the talents and abilities and what would fit best for our congregation and there you know we discuss and we have different ideas and, and opinions and but then when we move forward with we have our discussion and then we have our vote and then we decide and once that decision is made there's no grumbling there is no arguing and we move forward together knowing that god is working through the through the call meeting and he is working all things for our good. And then we work together being united in the decision that we make. And so, yes, there are times where maybe we have difference of opinions, but then we work together, forgive if it is needed, and show love, taking one another's actions in the kindest possible way. And another practical thing in which we get to do as a church family, I encourage you to think about joining as we do our uh, Camp Bird uh, retreat every year and that's coming up here in uh, middle September a chance where we spend time worshiping together studying God's word together playing games together sitting by the fire having dinner just a way in which that we spend time together strengthening those bonds among us there's enough division Jesus brought division but when he has brought us together we want to strengthen those bonds Camp Bird's an opportunity to do that I pray that you uh Think about joining us for parts of it or all of it. This year we're going to do a, the worship service on Saturday evening, uh, Saturday at 4.30, and then dinner to follow, bonfire afterwards. Um, just a neat way in which we get to spend time together, making sure that we stay united to one another because there is division in the world in which we live. With that, let's pray. Dear Lord, we Thank you this week of what we got to study to know that you came into this world. Uh, in doing so, you brought division. There are people that you have brought to faith and those who have rejected your sacrifice. And Lord, we pray that you always keep us close to you. And in doing so, we pray that you help us to stay united to one another, that you have brought us together through different walks of life to bring us together as a church family. We ask that you strengthen us in those bonds uh, that we can love forgive one another, always following the example that you set for us. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.